Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're looking at a set of Swedish military M41 6.5 millimeter Mauser dummy rounds. So these would be inert training rounds and the dimensions would be 6.5 by 55 millimeter. So uh, this uh, type of Mauser round was uh, conceived in the 1890s, right when smokeless powder became more commonplace. So this actual round really took advantage of uh, the new type of propellant and cartridge design and everything. So this was pretty cutting edge at the time and still to date is still used. So. Let's take a closer look. Uh, these do have plated brass cases. They are grooved here, you can see, for identification. And they have anodized green tips. There's no powder. And if we take a look, let's see if we can peel one of these off. There is no primer. In fact, you can see there in the primer pocket, there's no hole in the center either. So, totally inert. So the purpose of these would be to train soldiers in how to load these, how to unload these, and how to work actual actions on items such as uh, rifles. And reading from my notes here, these um, are identifiable both by sight, because of the color, the casing, the tips, and by touch, because of the gap at the bottom, where there's no primer, as well as the grooves in the casing. So there's two uh, touch points, literally, that way. And then these come on a five round stripper clip, this example, with an H mark right there. So these were um, obtained from Liberty Tree Collectors, so feel free to check them out, the large variety of items at Liberty Tree Collectors. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and try to compare these to some other rounds so again this is 6.5 by 55 millimeter this being 22 long rifle you can see that the projectile size is quite a difference between that and this as well as casing size and remember the projectile is actually seated into the neck so the projectile actually goes beyond what you see here into around here 22 long rifle. Let's take a look at 5.56. Very similar to 223 Remington. You can see the projectile size difference. Total difference in casing dimensions, although to scale they are very similar. So this is a very modern type of uh, shape of round. 762 by 39 kind of a squat version of the same type of shape with the bottleneck but now we're getting the larger diameter projectiles even if they are shorter and totally different case dimensions in fact most of these rounds are going to be larger uh, diameter but not necessarily larger casings as you can see here by the 762 by 51 NATO, smaller uh, length of casing, different positions of the neck and shoulder, and bigger diameter, but sh shorter length projectile. So 762 NATO, 762 by 54 rimmed, longer projectile. Larger diameter, but again, neck and shoulder in different positions. And also different diameter in casings. So, different powder capacities. And let's run out with two larger rounds here. Let's start off first with... Feels like uh, 303 British. 
you can see this is rimmed but the casings are almost the same length almost but not quite three or three is a little bit longer and this still has a longer projectile this has a large diameter uh, projectile and this would be 30 of six much longer casing smaller length shorter length uh, projectile so let's take a look at two Mauser rounds while we still got these out this is a 7 by 57 Mauser so this is a modern loading um, as you can see here this one has a shorter projectile larger diameter and slightly longer casing but this is a Mauser pattern but if you look at it, it looks like the 6.5 is actually wider here than here. This is 8mm Mauser. Very similar to the 7, but you can see a projectile size difference as well as a diameter difference. Quite apparent. Now casing wise, it's quite similar to the 6.5, but longer. But diameter wise, very similar and then a larger projectile. So, 22 long rifle, 5.56 NATO, 7.62 by 39, 7.62 NATO, 7.62 by 54 rimmed, 303 British, 30 out 6, 7 by 57 millimeter, 8 by 57 millimeter. And what we started off with, 6.5 by 55 Swedish. So, this has been another Show and Tell video. Feel free to check out other Show and Tell videos on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as a series of book review, media reviews. And also another series called Curios for the Curious, videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.